Hello everybody! In this video I will show you how to do the puff stitch. Yeah. This will I will show you the tall puff stitch that requires one more one extra step to make it secured to make the top secured. Uh, here I have a few stitches just for the base. Should be 15. Or any odd number in this case. We'll chain two. I won't count them as a stitch. Yarn over. Insert your hook right in that same stitch. Yarn over. Pull up a loop. And two more times in that same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull up a loop. You can make as many yarn overs as you want, it depends on how puffy you want your puff stitch. I think with this thick yarn, this should be enough. Now yarn over and pull it through all but one last stitch. Pull it here we have all six stitches, so we pull it through six stitches. And we have two left. Now yarn over and pull this through these two, like as if it was a single crochet. So this makes our puff stitch already secured on the top. We don't have to chain anymore because we actually single crocheted on top of it. Now I won't place one next to it because they will be too crowded, so I will chain and skip this one and make another puff stitch in next. Yarn over, insert your hook in next stitch, pull up the loop, and two more times in that same stitch. Make sure all the loops are even. Tugging them. You have seven loops on hook. Now you yarn over and pull through only six of them. You have two loops. Yarn over and finish it as a single crochet. Now chain one and skip this stitch. Yarn over and insert your hook in next. Yarn over, pull up a loop, two more times, yarn over, pull yarn through six stitches, or the amount you have, all but one last. Now you have two loops on a hook, yarn over, and pull through those two, so basically creating a single crochet on top of it with these two strands like a V skip this one and we'll make one more here This extra step makes this puff stitch not just secure, it's not falling apart, you don't have to make an extra chain to tighten it, it, will, it also makes it taller. It uh, comes out a height of approximately a double crochet instead of half double crochet as our regular puff stitch is.
Well, that's what we have here. You can use this variation of puff stitch if you need to uh, insert them, if you want to insert them somewhere. And a row of with double crochet that will be the same height. Or you just want to use something slightly different than a regular puff stitch. Thank you for watching.